Hi guys. Uh, in this video, we are going to see electrical installation and testing. How do we do electrical installation and testing? Those are the things we are going to see in this video. Uh, just see electrical installation. Installation. testing now I explain step by step and what are the methods to we need to check the electric installation first one uh, first we see dead that means without power supply without power supply So without power supply, first one is we need to check continuity productive connector. Continuity productive conductor. Earth wire. That means CPC continuity productive conductor. So this one is we need to check earth earth wire. So, so we, we need to check this is the first step to be check the electric insulation. So in second step second step is continuity for ring final circuit so we need to check a ring final circuit a ring circuit means the loop circuit whatever the point we start again the circuit will be close to that point that's a called ring circuit already we known that one so third one is Insulation resistance test. Insulation resistance test. So generally we do this test is like a 500 voltage, 1000 voltage, more than 2.5 kV up to 2.5 kilovolt. We do this testing, and then fourth one is polarity testing polarity testing so this one is uh, the line and neutral terminal is correctly connected or not so we need to check this one so this is called the polarity testing so this force testing we need to check without power supply for electrical installation after that we check with power supply how to we check with power supply just a minute so now we check for with power supply Uh, the first one is earth electrode test earth earth electrode TT supply that means type test supply to we check and then second one is loop impedance Loop impedance we checked for externally and internally also. So as per parallelly we check for PFC perspective fault current.
and then third one is phase sequence that means if we have a three phase supply r y b total we need to 120 degree phase shift though so that's what that one also we need to check and then fourth one is r c d testing that means residual current device testing after that we need to check final testing that means functional functional testing so these are the tests for we need to check before the electrical installation and starting uh, start the power supply that's all guys if you have any doubts please come on here next after that videos we see the briefly for these are the testing methods and how to we do these are the testing thank you thank you for watching